Hey guys, welcome back to the CJ Rubric Daily. I'm your host, Chris, and this is a daily video podcast show for busy parents or busy people in general to get stronger, fitter, and healthier and do it in a way that makes it simple and easy to implement. So we're still in series one. This is episode 16. And today I wanted to talk about five reasons why most online trading programs suck and I'm in a, like I've got a lot of mentors who are online coaches and things like that, I'm in a lot of groups and there's a lot of good ones out there, but the ones that generally, that I see the most that people do and sort of crash and burn on and sort of have bad experiences with, which tarnish their experience with any other trainer they're gonna go with online. It's like the Instagram-y type of trainers where they might be physique people and they get really good results for themselves and they just package up what they did for themselves and hand it to a client and they use no support or anything with it. So obviously you're going to have a bad experience because everyone's different. So what I reckon the five reasons why most online training programs suck are, all right, they don't take your current lifestyle into account. So just to pick on one, there's a very popular Australian 12-week program online that makes you do five one-hour training sessions a week plus conditioning and doing a really strict nutrition program. So a lot of busy mums I see do this program and they start well, but it's really hard to maintain. And I reckon the number one rule you should do if you're a busy parent, if you can do it now and do it when you're 80, then it's probably a good program to be on. Because you're gonna, like we talk about with our traffic light system, you're gonna have red light days. And those programs, those 12 week programs where they get you to train every day for an hour, they are green light training programs where you have all this space and capacity to train that hard and all the time to recover from it and spend time on food. But if you're a busy parent, for an example, there's one in our coaching group, Dim, who's a single mum of four kids. You imagine trying to get an hour of training every day. It's nearly, it just puts too much pressure on you. So that's number one reason. They don't fit it to your lifestyle. And say in the case of a busy dad like myself, I'm trying to get an hour in every day of hard training and like strict nutrition while trying to be a stay-at-home dad, run an online business and move house right now just does not suit the lifestyle I've got right now. We're just too busy. So my training has to be adjusted to suit what my stress cup is. So number one, it doesn't suit your lifestyle right now. And the easy way to tell is if you've done a program like this, these 12 week programs, and you've got really badly injured because you've overflowed your stress cup, the body will stop you in some way, unless it was an impact injury, which you can't really do much about. But if it's an overworked injury, or you've overstressed yourself and you feel overwhelmed and things like that, the program probably doesn't suit you right now. And that's because they don't build it to suit individuals, they build it as a template that they just give out and then they don't care about it afterwards. They don't care what you do, you've already bought it, go away and run with it. If you don't do the program, that's not their problem. All right. They don't understand how your training personality can be the catalyst to you making or breaking the program that you're doing. So PTA Global, there's a the gym I contract to, which is Lone Dog, awesome people. Shannon is a master trainer with them, I think it's called. But either way, they've got a, a system of training which you can find on the internet and it's really awesome way. Like you tr- match the training to the personality, not the other way around. You don't try and get the person to do your training. So some people like traditional, they like doing sets and reps and just doing the standard gym stuff. Give them that and they'll go with it. But if you're someone who likes variety, the standard stuff will just do your head in. So you need something that's a little bit different all the time, which is like cross ready workouts and you don't know what's coming up. And then someone who's progressive just doesn't like gyms at all and like want to play games and stuff. With online training programs, the typical ones you see, they generally just have one system of training and you go with it. And that's all you've got. And you've got to try. And the thing that happens is people fall off the wagon and stop doing it and don't know why. And the reason why is because it doesn't suit your personality. It's nothing to do with you having no willpower or anything like that. Maybe your personality just does not like the program that's given to you. So trying something different and figuring out what type of personality you are with training sense will be a go a long way to you figuring out if this if a program will work for you or not. Um, number three, generally they're one size fits all, kind of like what I said just before. They just give you a program and say, do this, and it doesn't matter who you are, you gotta do the same thing. 
They don't take into account previous injuries. They don't take into account different body shapes, body sizes, women's menstrual cycles, all those kinds of things. You need to be tweaking things to make sure they work for you individually. What these things don't, these programs don't tell you is that it works for one person. It might work for two people, but it's not going to work for everybody. And it's sort of promoted in a way that it's your lack of willpower and discipline that is the reason why the program failed. When in fact, the program, the reason why you failed on the program, when in fact it is the program that failed you, not the other way around. So that's another reason why I think online training programs suck is because they just give you a template and then make people feel bad if they can't complete it. Next to no support. There's a lot of programs I know that cost a bomb and you get no coaching, no support. You just give them the program and say, go with it, and that's it. You're, like, you're, it's, you're buying a video follow-along program, like a follow-along DVD. You get nothing else after it, which is horrendous. You need support and you need coaching to be able to show up and do this stuff. If you just get a program, it's a very small population of people that can be able to go through the whole thing on their own and do really well with it. So number four, there's next to no support. You need support when you do this stuff. Number five, you don't actually get any coaching. Like I said before, so support can be like you don't get support from a group or mentors or anyone and coaching when you do an online program, if they suck, you don't get coached. You, they just give you a program, there's a video on how to do it and that's it and you go, go away and do it. They don't coach you on how to show up when you're in a red light. They don't coach you on how to show up when you're in a yellow light. They don't coach you on how to do nutrition when you're away on holidays or when you're at a restaurant or they don't do things like that. Online training programs, the Insta training style is just a template that's given to you that does not fit your system. It does not fit you. You need to be able to find a system that is going to be able to blend and mold with you. So here's a couple of things to look at if you're looking at an online training program. So in the case of number one, they don't take your current lifestyle into account. If you look at it and they say, follow our five-day template of one hour a day program, that's a red light straight away. They what you should be looking for for something like getting a customized individualized training program to suit you doesn't matter like they might start with a template but they need to be able to adjust it to suit you eventually that's what you want to look for in an online training program for training sense and then they don't understand your training personality if you look at a training program when you buy it and you look at it and go this bores the hell out of me you know you're not gonna probably do it. Unless you're excited to do the thing, you're probably not gonna show up and do it when, it's, when you're by yourself. You need to want to be excited. So having that um, training program suit your personality is super important. Like Sandy's joined up now in the video. She likes programs, like she likes flipping tires and things and having a bit of variety, but she also does deadlifts and stuff and comp practices doing them often. So blending her with a hybrid program, which is a little bit of strength and a little bit of variety, makes it easy. And, she shows up all the time because it's exciting and she enjoys it. And then, so that's how you try and get over that part. Then the next part, one size fits all. You are a special snowflake. You do have special requirements when it comes to training. Everyone does. It's very rare to find a program that will fit everybody. I don't think it actually exists. So you need to be able to adjust things and being coached in a training program and not buying just a physical product that you just do with videos, you need to be coached on how to change things to suit whatever it is that's going on in your life right now. Because the idea is, the number one most important thing is showing up and doing this stuff every day. And you need to be able to be coached, or you need to be coached on how to do it and to figure out how to show up every day. And typical training programs just don't do that. And then next to no support, there's no community to support it. Like we've just started a Biggest Loser Challenge. We've got 73 people in there wanting to do it and wanting to help each other out. There's people watching this video now who are in it. That's support. That's what you want in an online training program. You want to be in a digital community, which is around, the goal is around achieving the same thing and you can all help each other show up because seeing other people posting things and doing things motivates you to get up and do stuff, especially when their life is hard. When you think you're in struggle towns, you sometimes see someone who's struggling way more and does something. It motivates you to do stuff. You need support when you do this stuff online. It's probably it's probably one of the most important things. And then, last point, you don't actually get coached. So if you go to sign up for an online training program and there doesn't mention anything about email support, messaging support, 
a Facebook group support, if it doesn't have anything like that and all you're doing is getting a program, that should be a big red light. Your chances of actually following through on this are really low. See, any flipping ties is exciting. Hell yeah, it is. If something is too hard to fit in your lifestyle, there's no way you are going to be able to keep doing it, especially when things get hard. So true. What Senior just said there is super important. When doing making change is hard, that you can do things to make it easier to show up by getting these things in place. Most online training programs that are really popular do not do those things. So when you're looking for stuff, make sure you know you're going to get support. It's a training program that makes you excited to do. Like if you look at it and you go, actually, that makes me really pumped up to go outside and do that workout or go somewhere to do that workout or even just to show up like we're doing with our challenge. Show up and just do things. If that makes you excited to do it, then you know it's a good fit. And if you know it's got a support group, you need support to be able to show up and do this stuff. So they're the five big reasons why I think most online training programs suck and what you can look for in a training program to make sure it's going to work for you. We have training programs that can help you and we have online coaching groups that can help you do this. So you can check out our page, our website, cjrubic.com to see what our programs are like, to give it a try. We always have, we have a trial program that you can come and have a look at. But whatever you do, always look at programs within that funnel of, will you get support? Will it suit your personality? Will you actually be coached? And will it be individualized to you? That's what online coaching is. Online training is just buying a program that probably won't fit your lifestyle and you're trying to change your lifestyle to suit it. Online coaching is blending the program into your lifestyle now and then gradually changing to a better version of you. So that's today's video. I'll be back tomorrow with another one. Thanks guys for listening in and commenting. Looking forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Bye.